shown here. Next, our second to the last measure of location is the percentile. So, a percentile provides information about how the data are spread over the interval from the smallest value to the largest value. So, admission test scores for colleges and universities are frequently reported in terms of percentile. So, the P per PTH percentile of a data set is a value such that at least P percent or kaning P3, for example, kung 5 na siya, so 5 percent and then so on, of the items take on this value or less and at least 100 minus P percent of the items take on this value or more. So, how do we get the percentile? So, percentile, kanini makabantay mo, kana kung maingon nga, you belong to the upper 10% of your koan. So, yun sa mga paghibaw, anaka sa upper 10%. So, yun na na siya, arin ni siya ang katong percentile. Like, isa po, di ba kung ma-apply ka for scholarship, one of the requirements should be, you should belong to the upper 10% of the graduating class. So, meaning, out of the 10%, ah, uh, no, not out of the 10%, out of the population of the graduating class, ang upper 10% na daw ang pwede maka-apply for the scholarship. So, ang taon mo nyo pag-determine kung pila nakabuok ang upper 10% na, na pila nakabuok students ang nabilong sa upper 10%. So, ano na siya magamit ang imuhang percentiles. So, in getting the percentiles, first is you need to know the location of the P, PTH percentile. Or katong gipangita ni mga percentile rank. So, in getting the location, it's simply P divided by 100 um, times N plus 1. So, again, ang yung gipangitan ha is ang yung location. Now, arita, mag-example ta. Katang sa ito ang salary. Let's hide it. Okay. So, magkumpita sa percentage. So, for example, asa daw ani ang nabilong sa ethiet or asa daw ani ang ika ethiet ang iyahang percentile or iyahang rank. So, Again, dapat is naka-arrange gihapon siya in ascending order. Again, arrange siya data in ascending order, which we already did, di ba? So, your data is already in ascending order, and then, in getting the location, your P, so in this case, on sama nang imuhang? Oops. <clears throat> Yung mga pangita is your ETF. So, your P is 80. Di ba? Or in this case, it's malagi, it's 80. Your ETF, hindi mga pangita. Your P is your is 80. Your N your N is 12. Kaya 12 man kabukin mo hang data or observations. Now, if we go on yung mga percentile, it's your P, so 80, divided by 100. Let's place that in a parenthesis. Multiplied by your N, is 12 plus 1. Oops. Yeah, there. So, you will get the location. Kani location na palang na siya, ha? Location, your LP of 10.4. So, this is not yet your value yet. Di pa rin siya ang imuhang value ang ipangita. Ang location pa lang ni sa value nga imuhang gi pangita. So, it says here 10.4. So, you have 12 data values. Asa ang imuhang 10.4 makitaan? Ang imuhang 10.4, kaya asa mo siya makitaan? In between your 
10 and 11. Diba? So, that is where you can find your 10.4 in between 10 and 11. So, ang imuhang value or ang value nga na sa ika 80th rank is between 4,050 o 4,130. Now, how do we get for the exact value. So, ari na ta. Diba? You already have the value of 10. Kabaw na ka nga. Ang 10 is 4,050. Now, what you have is the 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4 is mura na na siya. Ang kanang, pangitan niyo mo ang 0. 0.4 40%. O, ba Mura na siya. Um, 4,050, 40,50 plus 40% 40 of the difference in the two. So, mo nang imuhang gamiton. So, as shown here, diba? Ang difference sa 4,130 o 450, i-times na siya ni mo o 4, kanin 0.4 para makuha ni mo ang specific nga 88%. So, again, Ito yung try ug Excel. Kani is your value na gina? Oops. So, that is your lowest plus 0 0.4 of 4130 minus 450. There. 4,082. Kanisha is ang lowest ang ihang gigamit. Pwede po nga, ang imuhang gamiton is ang highest. For instead of adding, ka imuha siyang i-subtract. And then instead of 0.4 is ang opposite imuha, which is mas complicated na siya, but I can still show you. So, ang highest, arita mag start sa 11. Diba? May nusa ni mo siya. O, pila man dapat, para ma-arrive kag 0.4, pila man dapat yung i-minus sa 1, di ba? 0.60. So, muna yung mga ito. 60. Of, kung saan man, 60% of still, um, the 4130 minus the this one. And, see, you would still arrive of the, at the same amount. So, Regardless kung magsugod ka sa 4,050 o sa 4,130, pariya, sige po ng amount, ngayon mo hang So, this is how you interpret it. At least 80% of the items take on a value of 4,082 or less. Then, at least 20% of the item take on value of 4 or more. So, ang pasabot na from 4,082 and above, di ba? Iyaha is 20% na siya. Kaya nga naman, ang 4,082, ika-88 manini mo. So, ayaw mo na siya makitahan. So, kani siya from 1 to 10.4, sila na nag sa 80%. And then, from 10.4 to 12, sila na nag sa 20%. So, pero ito, ako sa gimension gani ha, if you want to know if nabilong baka sa upper 10% of your class, that's the case, diba? So, usa mo yung pangitaon nga rank. So, pangitaon ng mga rank is ang ika 90th, diba? So, yun na na siya, ika 90th nga rank, then katong babawaan na, if mo na yung mga average or ever, so, ano, yun na na siya pag determine. <coughs> Or, you can simply make use of the percentile function. Which is, ayun lang ito, ibotang na lang, percentile. Now, doha ni, it's EXE or INC. EXE meaning um, exclusive. And INC is inclusive. Meaning, i-appeal niya ang 0 o 1. Then, isa is 1 niya, i-appeal ang 0 o 1. So, Right, sa exe. And then, katong data nga, kuhaan ni Moog, um, katong yung 
asa imong kuan o value so in this case ani so imuhang monthly salary and then your k or kung unsa nga rank ang katong imuha gipangita di ba katong imuhang t over 100 it was 80% so still you would arrive at 4082 so ana na siya then for your quartiles quartile is just a specific percentile ana na nga siya so your quartile oh by names are quartile so meaning mga quarters imo imo siya ang ika 25th percentile ika 50th percentile ika 75th percentile so kani siya is 80 lang siya but imo ika 25th ang imo ang pangitaon it can also mean as the first quartile so equal na siya First quartile is equal to equal to 20 percentile. Second quartile is equal to 50th percentile, or your median. Again, your median is equal to your second quartile, or your 50th percentile. Then your third quartile is your 75th, and so on. So kani is kana siya ang katulang manual computation of your quartiles. Still the same process. Asa naman magdifer sa katulang mo ang P. Ang imo ang gamito na nga P instead of 80 is 25, 50 o 75 na. Same po kung mag-formula imo ang gamiton, kung Excel imo ang gamiton, ang value sa imo ang K would be 0.25, 0.50 o 0.75 for the first, second, and third quartile respectively. So, ano ang iyong difference? So, in that case, iba yung example is 75 man o kanina gamit ay 75, see, it would still arrive with 4,025. So, anao na na siya pag compute sa imuhang um, quartiles.